I had epilepsy as a child. Just all the basic things that other kids could do, I couldn't do as well. You can always think of reasons why poor me and it's tough, but you know what? To me, entrepreneurship is about one challenge after another, and it's about surviving till you thrive. Like a lot of people my generation, I'm a baby boomer, I guess. Both my parents, uh, they actually met in World War II. They were both in the U.S. Navy. My mother taught school. Uh, she actually taught art. And my father worked for a variety of companies in uh, kind of a middle management marketing type positions. My first jobs were entrepreneurial. I started when I was uh, 8, 9, 10, and then by the time I was 15, 16 years old, I was working full time in uh, restaurants, uh, washing pots and pans. Uh, I was a dishwasher. At 16, I was a night watchman at the county. Uh, I, I used to call my girlfriend uh, to try to stay awake, and she couldn't get any sleep. I couldn't get any sleep, but, but I was on the phone most of the night. But anyway, when I was 17, I uh, went into my one or two year business, and that was the only job I could hold, was one working for myself, because no, nobody else would keep me that long. My career today is one of being fortunate to do a lot of different things. We built some software companies and sold them. We owned 72,000 apartments at one point. One of the constants has been that we've invested as a, an angel round investor in a number of startups, and we've been able to move on and do different things. I've been really, really lucky to just be with a great group of people that over the years have stayed together and have allowed me the honor of working with them. It's just been a great uh, time of uh, excitement and opportunity and a lot of, a lot of good luck. Practical learning is real important and part of what I saw in being able to go to some junior achievement classes is at the very youngest levels it starts with what I'd call financial literacy, just learning the basics of how money works. Part of uh, the challenge we have in our education society is we try to fit everybody into boxes and they don't all fit into those boxes. So part of what I think a lot of places are doing now is looking at magnet schools or looking at specialized schools and trying to um, understand the individual nature of, of the, the student at an early age is a critical part of that. And I think programs like Junior Achievement are a critical part of that. I didn't take Junior Achievement, probably uh, wouldn't have uh, qualified to get in the class or something, but uh, I wish I had. I, I think it's a great program. How we connect with each other is everything. It's, it's the humanity that we have. And so it may start out with this cold idea of exchanging money for goods or services, which I thought when I was younger was a negative thing, but done right and done responsibly, being an entrepreneur can be a high calling, can be a very uh, good thing where you can make a difference in people's lives and, and help uh, leave uh, the world a little better than when you came here. The most important thing is to never stop learning and to have a passion for what you want to do and to have the confidence to follow your heart.